What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. My girlfriend Morgan and I are back again with another meal prep and we are using the Street Kitchen Super Fast Packets again. Today we're gonna to be making smoky chipotle beef. Before we start, remember that all of the macros as well as the ingredients and how to make this dish will be on my website, fordfit.com. So just head over there and all of your information will be found through that link. Also on that website will be a few other dishes that I really like and use on a daily basis. So make sure to head over there and check that out. But let's get started. All right, so theoretically, this is all you should need to make this dish. Um, we've got the street kitchen packet right right there with all the seasonings and spices. Um, and that's gonna call for one and a half pounds of beef. This is super lean beef chunks. Then keeping with the fast pace of everything, um, we decided to use this quinoa and brown rice um, packet. This is gonna go straight in the microwave as well as this guy over here. You guys know I love my broccoli. These are the steamables. Decided to go with a different brand uh, just to switch things up. But yeah, theoretically, this is everything you're gonna need. All right, so the packet calls for marinating the beef first for 20 minutes. So our lovely assistant here is going to get started on that. So we can set that aside. Oh, it has a little terry thing. You don't even need scissors. Oh, yeah. You don't even need those scissors. Just dump that in there. And then I don't know if you guys watched my last video, but Morgan hates touching meat, so she's gonna she's gonna do the honors. Thanks, Travis. <laughs> so the lean beef chunks are all marinated, and we are going to let that sit for 15 to 20 minutes. This right here is how you prevent cross contamination. So we've added a little bit of oil to the pan, and now we are going to put that on medium heat and add the remaining two packets. We're just gonna simmer that for a little bit. I believe the instructions are gonna tell you exactly how long to put that for. Our assistant is just gonna add that in. All right, and we're just gonna stir that around and let it reach a slight simmer. All right, and that is all we are looking for. It did not take very long at all, but now we're ready to add the meat. So we're gonna break this up and cook it until it is lightly browned. Then we'll be ready for the final steps. Showing the Canon G7X some love. While Morgan is finishing up the beef cubes and the rice is in the microwave, I wanted to take this opportunity to talk about the website a little bit more. This is something that I have been working on for a very long time. I really wanted a place that's my own where my subscribers, you guys, have a place to go and get more information. I'm also gonna be posting a bunch of short videos that I really wouldn't post on my channel just because they're not long enough. You know, super short videos like what I had for lunch that day or a new recipe that I found that's super simple. There is going to be a ton of beneficial information on there. And if you sign up to my newsletter, you're also going to enter yourself into a weekly giveaway. That's right, another weekly giveaway. The weekly giveaways are still going to be a thing on my regular channel, so now you have twice the opportunity weekly to win something. So if you're interested in that, head over to my website, sign yourself up for that newsletter, and win some free stuff. While the beef is cooking, I'm going to pop these in the microwave, which is the hardest part, honestly. This, this cooking is the easiest. Drop those in there. And we're going to put those on for five minutes. Always make sure on the back of the label that your vegetables are flash frozen. This locks in all of the nutrients and makes your frozen vegetables just as nutritious as your fresh vegetables. So we're just about done. Always remember when you're making this to take out that spicy chili uh, flake oh. there. All right, and that is done. Gonna set that aside, and now we're going to put in the brown rice and quinoa. Make sure to break that up before sticking it in the microwave. All right, and now we're going to throw that in the microwave for 90 seconds. All right, so the beef cubes have been browned and are fully cooked, they're ready to be taken out, and the quinoa is done. So we're gonna take that out as well. 
And that is all there is to it, guys. These smell amazing. Morgan and I snuck a bite in once that meat was done, and let me tell you, it is fantastic. Keep in mind, if you are cutting or bulking, you're gonna wanna weigh everything out before you put it in the actual dishes. And if you wanna scoop these meal prep containers up, let me tell you, I've done so many videos on them. They are fantastic. And I am going to have that link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and you can expect another meal prep next week.